In my previous Adobe Sound Booth CS5 tutorial, we went through noise reduction and noise removal. In this video, we're going to look at a couple of uh, filters that we can use to clear up our microphone audio. So I've got the same audio clip that I had in the previous Adobe Sound Booth video, but I haven't got the noise reduction this time around. Now firstly, what I'm going to do is right click anywhere in this pane here, go to advance, and then add a compressor. You can use any of these compressors, and it's probably going to vary from microphone to microphone. I use voice thickener most of the time. Sometimes it depends on the environment, background noise. If there's not much background noise, and if my microphone is close enough, then I'll probably use something else like a leveler. And of course you can go into the settings, you can adjust the output gain, threshold and everything like that. You'll have to experiment with them. I usually leave it default, but you can put it too high for the output gain. The output gain affects the overall volume of what your audio will be. If you edit this in a uh, video editing program like I do from the tutorials, then it's probably not going to be a big deal, so since you can put the output gain up in that anyway. Again, we're going to have another effect this time, so we'll click EQ Graphic. Now when we go to settings, you'll see that it's very simple. We have low, low mid, low high, and high. The lows are basically the bass uh, that you get in audio, and the highs are basically the treble, tinny sound, and the mids, well, you can guess that, middle. Low mids control both. For my videos, I usually bump up this to 6 for the low, and for the high, I set it to around 12. Sometimes I'll leave the low mid and the high mid at default, or I'll put it to around minus 3, minus 4 for the low mid, and leave it like that. If you go to Advance and EQ Graphic Advanced, then Settings, it'll be a whole complicated, and you'll probably need to do some research unless you already know about this kind of thing but you can get 10, 20, or 30 bands. This will allow you a lot more freedom to equalize your audio. Another optional filter is to go to Advanced, and then EQ Parametric. This will add a couple more tools to adjust the bands of highs and mids and such like that. You don't have to use this, but it may improve your audio quality a little bit more and give it a more professional sound. I tend to not use it, um, all the time, in rare cases, I do. So now we've got all of our effects together to make, give our audio a cleaner sound, and again, I'll be using these settings for this audio that I'm recording. We're gonna go to tasks, and we're gonna remove the sound. Or noise, rather. Any clicks and pops. So, in this audio section, if we just play this, you can hear there's a bit of background noise from the fans on my computer. It's going to be running throughout all out all this audio, so what we're going to do is just make sure that everything is selected. And we can do this by making sure that nothing's selected, or we can select it all by pressing Ctrl and A. After that, you click on Noise, set the noise reduction to 30%. This may vary from microphone to microphone, and depending on um, just you, personal preference. And we're going to set reduction to around 32%. It may be higher for you or lower. I wouldn't recommend going over 42% because, like I said in my previous Adobe Sound Booth tutorial, that's when stuff's going to sound robotic. So we'll click on that. And now we'll listen back. This is a sound clip recorded for my Adobe Sound Booth CS5 audio tutorial. Now that's done, we'll just undo everything so we can see what it sounded like at the beginning. This is a sound clip recorded for my Adobe Sound Booth CS5 audio tutorial. So you can see everything's been cleaned up a little bit. Hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.